Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Hello everyone, uh, in this lecture we are going to uh, continue with uh, thoughts and ideas of one of the very uh, eminent modern Indian political thinker Raja Ram Mohan Roy and in previous lecture we have discussed his ideas on uh, religious reforms and um, today we will be discussing his ideas on modern education and in the following lecture we are going to discuss his ideas on freedom of press, political and um, civil rights and um, uh, then we will conclude his thought uh, in a kind of um, larger context of modern Indian political thinking, what was his contribution, what was his legacy and what kind of ideas he championed and articulated which continue to resonate in our contemporary times. So, in the uh, next class we are going to discuss some of those, uh, those thoughts. So, today we are going to discuss um, Raja Ram Mohan Roy ideas on modern education. Um, now, when it comes to modern education or modern liberal education, there are uh, different kind of uh, understanding about uh, uh, the uh, evolution or the starting of modern liberal education in India and especially when colonial uh, dominance as I was discussing in my previous lecture, not just in the uh, physical uh, material world, but also in the realm of thought and ideas or in the intellectual uh, world as well, the colonial domination was so powerful. Uh, so overwhelming that it was hard for any other perspectives or other counter uh, ideas about education, about polity, about soci society, about uh, different kind of religion and their worth was very hard to articulate and express and also assert. Now, in such context uh, Raja Ram Mohan Roy was articulating his uh, thoughts on uh, religion his thoughts on modern uh, modern education and also some of the ideas on uh, freedom of press uh, and political and civil rights that we are going to discuss in the next class. So, um, uh, what is the uh, significance of modern education or modern liberal education in modern Indian uh, political thought? As many of us are aware that these um, ideas whether it be it on nation, nationalism, quality, state, uh, individual, fundamental rights of individual, the uh, form of government, republicanism, secularism, all those uh, vocabulary, the idioms that we use in our modern political, political uh, discourse and polity is somewhat connected with this kind of uh, historical uh, shift in terms of the system of education that we have had uh, in modern India. And uh, Raja Ram Mohan Roy in that sense is, uh, is a kind of remarkable contribution in terms of supporting and promoting modern liberal education in modern India. One of the example that I can give um, on the contribution of modern education is uh, the possibility of imagining India as a nation. So, uh, as we are aware that we have multiple languages, there is plurality of race, caste, religion, communities and then how these all communities come together to think about India, to, uh, to communicate with each other using one language and that one language is English for a very long time. So, in different provinces, so uh, the consciousness as uh, many, uh, many writers like Dennis Dalton and others have argued that very possibility of communicating 
between and among different provinces having their own language and dialects and discussing about some common issue like political uh, political freedom uh, from the British rule, uh, social reforms, political reforms, religious reforms was possible because of their familiarity with the English. So, English becomes the link language for many of the nationalist uh, thinkers and that we have to credit to this modern liberal education. In a similar way as I was saying different uh, vocabulary and idioms that we use in our political discussion and debate is rooted in this modern liberal education. So, uh, uh, many people have also studied Indian nationalism in a sense where they learn, uh, they were uh, able to access modern English education and from uh, there they, uh, so the first phase if you look at the history of nationalist movement from say uh, early uh, 1885 to 1905 or so, uh, the moderates basically the moderate phase of Indian National Congress was uh, by and large guided by these, uh, these emerging middle class in India having access to modern English liberal education and then they were theorizing, arguing, contesting, um, uh, cont uh, contesting within the uh, administrative setup that was provided by the British and articulating their thoughts and all. So, the point uh, here is modern liberal education did play a very significant role in the very formation of the idea of nation, nationalism, uh, the um, uh, way uh, Indian thinkers and political activists communicate with each other and it continue to remain a very valuable uh, language in terms of uh, official and administrative communication. So, um, in that context we have to think about the way Raja Ram Mohan Roy was articulating his thought and supporting modern uh, liberal education. So, um, to begin with what we find is this um, Raja Ram Mohan Roy and his ideas on modern education can be rightly regarded as the precursor of modern system of education in India. What we see here is the university system, the different branches of learning and knowledge that we have, uh, the kind of um, certification. Uh, so, you have to pass some exam and that uh, passing of exam will certify you for certain degree. So, the modern uh, system education that we have, we can trace it in the ideas of, uh, uh, of Raja Ram Mohan Roy among others in modern India. And he worked tirelessly to promote and champion this cause of modern system of education. So, uh, unlike many, um, many of his contemporary, he was fully convinced about the value and also the use of a modern liberal education in India. Now, what you uh, also find in Raja Ram Mohan Roy is uh, his interaction with the colonial, uh, colonial administrators or um, secretary general or governor general and his constant plea to them to promote and start modern education in India. And that reflected in one of his uh, latest two British educationist Lord Amherst, where he ardently argued for the modern liberal education in India. Now, for him and that was a time when uh, Indians were responding and trying to articulate uh, the British, uh, uh, British uh, impositions of various kind and uh, uh, many of them were convinced that um, uh, the British rule is for something good. Uh, that something good is going to happen out of the British rule and they believed in the, uh, in the fairness or uh, the promises of justice uh, made by the colon, uh, colonial administrators and their uh, system of governance, their protection of rights and they believed that whatever was uh, there in their native country that is in Britain. Uh, so, what are the ri whatever the rights or obligation that is there for the Brit British citizen in their native country that will be extended to the Indians as well or the colonial subject as well. So, uh, uh, so Raja Ram Mohan Rai was in a sense situated in such kind of discourse where uh, people were aware or uh, convinced about the uh, just um, 
justness or fairness of the British and wanted it to be extended into the uh, colonial society as uh, colonized society as well. So, um, according to Roy, for the British rulers, language, literature, manners, customs, and ideas of India, which is almost entirely new or unfamiliar, therefore, they cannot easily become intimately acquainted with the real circumstances in this country. So, despite of their intention to be a just ruler, to protect the rights of the individual or the community, because of their unfamiliarity or this completely strange kind of language, manners, customs or ideas that, uh, that was there in India, Raja Ramon Rai believed that because of their lack of first hand or familiarity with these literature, language, manners, customs and ideas, they cannot really grasp or comprehend the real circumstances that is India. So, um, he believed that Indians should be able to give them the pri proper information, so that the British rule can devise calculated and beneficial measures for India. Now, in order to do that, he wanted Indians to be given modern liberal education. So, now he is very uh, clear about the role and significance of modern liberal education in India, where he believes that the Britishers, despite of their intention to do devise policy for the betterment or improvement of Indian society or Indian people, they cannot do it because they are not uh, familiar with the Indian situation and there that information can be provided by an educated section of Indian population when they are provided with the modern liberal education. So, one thing that becomes clear then is the belief in the just nature of the British rule and Raja Rahman Rai also believed that the colonial uh, rule is something which can liberate, which can truly empower uh, the uh, Indian masses and it is good for the country and to do that he wanted liberal, m modern liberal education for Indian subject. His approach to modern western education was very different from his conservative as well as the radical Bengali intellectuals of that time. Now, as we are aware that the Indians were also very apprehensive about modern liberal education, um, education in India. So, many of us are familiar with the kind of debates that was happening during the time when Britishers began uh, modern education. Before that, when Raja Ramohan Rai was thinking and articulating about the usefulness or appropriateness of modern liberal education vis a vis classical Sanskrit learning or personal learning. Now, because of the uh, Christian missionaries taking a significant role in terms of educating the masses and then also fulfilling their objective of religious conversion. Now, um, uh, many Indians or natives believe that in the grab of this modern English not just in language, but the system of education, they are actually promoting Christianity and that is why they were very apprehensive of this whole uh, English system or modern uh, system of education. And for a very long time, uh, they were not convinced by the colonials and all uh, colonial administrators and um, scholars who were actually promoting the um, uh, modern, modern system. So, it took long time for the Indian citizen or common people to understand the value or get convinced about the uh, significance of modern modern liberal education. There was all kind of debates that was happening. On the one hand, you have conservative conservatives like Radha Khan Dev and many radicals also, which uh, wanted to you know completely imbibe or imitate modern liberal values or western education at the cost of anything that is related to India, because of their belief in the stagnant or kind of otherworldly approach in Indian system of education. So, you have two kind of opinion and Raja Ramon Rai was actually trying to articulate his thought and his support for modern education in, in, in such situation. So, uh, what conservatives like Radha Khan Dev did was they wanted western education, but that western education for them 
is kind of instrument or a tool for career advancement in their professions or service under the British rule. So, uh, they had to learn modern uh, education, English uh, language because they want to get into the service of the British, uh, British rule and uh, they use this modern education merely as the instrument uh, or tool. Whereas, Raja Ramon Roy regarded this western modern education not just as a tool for getting career advancement or getting into the services of British rule, but also as a means for social transformations. Uh, so, that is a very uh, significant understanding of the role of modern education for Raja Ram Mohan Roy. Now, historically if you look at when the company rule became the paramount power after the decline of Mughals and competition between Marathas and other provincial uh, rulers in south also in uh, west, uh, west of India. Gradually, it becomes clear that the British uh, acquire the supremacy or paramount uh, power in India. Now, many Indian realize that to get job under this new uh, British rule, they would have to learn English. Even though the Persian continued to be used for official purposes well into the 19th century. So, when the British came, they did not uh, disallow the use of classical language such as Persian or Sanskrit. Uh, and Persian uh, remain in the language of court or in the language of administration for a very long time as late as 19th century or early 20th century. But the section of Indian uh, population believed that to get into the job under this new uh, rule, they had to learn English. So, they had the very uh, instrumental understanding of uh, this um, new system of education. Now, the most more far sighted among them such as Raja Ram Mohan Roy, he saw the tremendous advantage that could be gained from the direct contact with the whole corpus of modern western education. So, for them English education or modern liberal education is not just to get a job, but also to reform the society, to think about uh, a better politics. Uh, or that can lead to the empowerment of uh, community and cultivation of the mind. So, that is uh, um, that is uh, something very uh, crucial for reformer or thinker like Raja Ramon Roy, which is very different from many of his conservative and the radical uh, radical friends. Now, so therefore, when the Britishers began to um, uh, take the responsibility of providing education to the Indian people, Raja Ram Mohan Roy wholeheartedly supported such promotion of um, uh, 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 new school, new system of education in Kolkata and later on in the rest of rest part of the India. He wanted the Britishers to em employ English gentlemen of talent with liberal education to instruct the natives of India in mathematics, philosophy, chemistry, anatomy and other useful sciences because they according to Roy had attained a degree of perfection a degree of perfection in those uh, those fields. So, Raja Ramon Roy wanted this responsibility to be fulfilled by um, those um, instructors who have already acquired a degree of perfection in the respective field uh, field of modern uh, system of knowledge be it uh, mathematics, philosophy, anatomy or chemistry. So, um, for Raja Ram Mohan Roy here again, this point we will discuss in uh, in few minutes, where uh, you see the uh, use of uh, the education is not just to uh, speculate and contemplate about otherworldly uh, issues like the existence of soul, relations of uh, relationship of uh, individual to his soul, life after death and other kind of similar issue which is uh, which is widely prevalent in many of the Indian system of education uh, which which was widely prevalent. In contrast to that, Roy wanted to promote modern scientific liberal education because of their practical value, practical necessity and not just because of the uh, usefulness of speculative and contemplative thinking. So, that was uh, his approach towards this. 
uh, education fair he wanted the british to uh, employ those who have already have some degree of perfection in such fields uh, there was this um, tussle within the officials of the company as well which becomes more explicit uh, in 1830s when they seriously began to think about the medium or the system of education they will promote in india in 1830s especially after lord macaulay and woods dispatch and other things certainly in 1830s that issue becomes much more explicit much more emotionally intense uh, in terms of having sharper or uh, sharper view which differs from uh, uh, from each other for a company in their beginning or the initial years uh, they were very cautious to tamper with the indigenous system of education britishers on their part also they were very cautious when it comes to tampering with the modern system uh, uh, the indigenous system of india that was in existence at that point of time now they wanted to leave the traditional base of indian society undamaged as far as possible so as many of uh, the scholars have argued that the colonial rule in india was not really for the betterment or improvement uh, improvement of the native citizens it was actually for the maximum extraction of economic resources in terms of revenue but remember um, when um, british established their supremacy or paramountcy the question that was available in the thinking or in the horizon of expectation to the natives or native thinkers intellectuals including uh, raja ramon rai and many others they accepted the british rule and they thought they believed in the fair and just nature of the british rule whatever we now think about the e- economic extraction and uh, you know the pathetic uh, condition of indians that is largely due to the colonial system of economic uh, extract uh, resources of economic extraction that understanding comes much later after the publication of dada bhai naroji on british rule in india and the drain of resources but in this historical uh, situation when raja ram mohan rai was articulating about modern education religious reforms such questions was not available to them they t- accepted the british rule they believed in the intention that uh, was expressed by the british officials and then they thought of reforming the indian society empowering the society within this given given situation and britishers were also then very cautious not to temper not to damage the existing indigenous system of education in india so they had decided as early as in 1770s to sponsor persian arabic and sanskrit studies and not modern liberal education so the modern universities and departments they began they began with the classical uh, classical uh, studies like sanskrit persian or uh, or arabic raja ram mohan rai was strongly opposed to such uh, efforts uh, by the government to establish sanskrit schools under the hindu pandits and priests and there are valid reason for uh, such objection so uh, remember within the colonial uh, debates about modern system of education in india there was also this kind of apprehension whether to uh, start modern um, liberal education or to continue with the uh, uh, with the existing system of education that is prevalent in india and raja ram mohan rai was arguing in such context now why uh, he opposed the sanskrit schools and that's a very um, uh, very crucial question for us to understand and that's the also the reason why uh, raja ram mohan roy is a kind of break from the uh, pre colonial or the uh, why he considered as the modern uh, first modern indian uh, political thinker so um, he believed that uh, if uh, the government continue with the tra- uh, traditional knowledge and promote uh, such knowledge through the establishment of many new sanskrit uh, sanskrit schools the people cannot expect to learn any practical knowledge practical or pragmatic knowledge about society about um, economy about polity out of such archaic uh, archaic system of knowledge that we have had and they can only learn 
only those things which is commonly taught in many parts of India. Raja Ram Mohan Rai was of the opinion that the condition or the degenerated condition in some of uh, this condition we have discussed in previous lecture like, illest, uh, like ignorance, illiteracy, you know, superstitions or many, uh, many evil practices such as sati or uh, widowhood, polygamy, uh, idol worship. Such practices is prevalent because of this archaic other worldly approach in the traditional system of knowledge pro uh, promoted by Hindu pandits or priestly class in India, which will not really help in the practical life of Indian people. So, that is why he was very opposed to uh, the promotion of Sanskrit schools by the Britishers. There are other challenges for uh, such opposition also. Uh, the other was like the Sanskrit language is so difficult and there is um, a vast corpus of text. So, in terms of political thought if we say we have Dharma Shastra, we have Niti Shastra, we have Arth Shastra, there are so many uh, treatises written on the main, main text also. So, you have many Vasya, Tikas, our a range of uh, Vedic or uh, post Vedic uh, text Upanishads and um, other um, epics. So, Raja Ramon Roy believe that uh, this language is so difficult that almost a lifetime is necessary for its perfect acquisition and for Raja Ramon Roy this cannot make any contribution towards establishing a modern liberal society. He does not, so the role of education is also to transform the society to remove or abolish some of the evil practices that is widely prevalent, the degenerate condition of individual and the community. So, the role of education is to empower the individual, cultivate his her mind, it should be the basis of firm morality and ethics and uh, that is why he believed that the uh, Sanskrit system of education that was prevalent at that time cannot really help in the establishment of modern liberal society in India. Now, according to him, no improvement can be expected from inducing young men to consume a dozen of years of their most valuable period of uh, their life in acquiring the knowledge of Sanskrit grammar and language. That is again something we have to be very cautious. That does not mean he does not want uh, natives to learn Sanskrit or learn uh, uh, ancient text. The previous lecture where we have discussed the, about the religious reforms where we have to understand that he was uh, against the evil practices that uh, that was widely prevalent and not against or opposed to the sacred uh, religious Hindu text as such and he wanted people to read such text to learn from such text and derive their message or understanding or ethics or morality from such text and he therefore wanted it to be translated into the many vernacular languages. So, uh, so here again uh, when we say why he supported modern education, that does not mean he is actually opposed to uh, Sanskrit uh, or Sanskrit learning or ancient learning. But to create a liberal society, which is uh, which is based on scientific rational approach towards uh, self, society, community, polity which requires modern system of education rather than archaic model of uh, education system that was widely prevalent during that time. And that is why he therefore, wanted the British or colonial government because of their uh, intention or just int intention to promote modern scientific liberal education among the natives that can be achieved only through modern liberal education in the opinion of Raja Ramon Roy. So, as I was saying that in this um, uh, system of education, the most of the issue and the questions was otherworldly, speculative and contemplative in nature. It does not have or have very minimum application in the practical life of the people. So, therefore, he, um, he was opposed to uh, such system of education and other problem of the uh, this uh, uh, system of education that was prevalent during that time was emphasis on the memory or what is uh, called you uh, you uh, learn you memorize uh, the text you memorize the uh, formula you memorize the uh, mantras but you don't know the meaning you don't understand the meaning and the larger 
message that is contained uh, contained in such uh, uh, such uh, formula or such mantras. So, um, uh, therefore, it also do not help in the cultivation or improvement of the minds of the people also. So, that is why he, uh, he was very opposed to government initiative to establish Sanskrit schools in India. Now, if you look at the context in which um, Raja Ram Mohan Rai is op uh, operating that um, in his time the initial enthusiasm for English especially among the educated Hindus is evident from the great popularity of Hindu college professor Henry V. Derazio. Uh, he was a great educationist working or promoting western style secular rationalism and uh, his uh, popularity reflects the popularity or enthusiasm of educated Hindus to learn, uh, learn modern liberal education or English education. So, there was a large section of people already willing to learn, uh, learn modern education and uh, the popularity of their view is reflection of such, uh, such enthusiasm. But relation of western to Indian learning was becoming a problematic issue. As I was saying that um, uh, the apprehension for modern education among the Indians, among the natives, because this education was also simultaneously promoting religious conversion or promoting western style and that was not, uh, not very conducive in terms of promoting modern liberal educations among the Indians, because many of them believe that by learning uh, modern education, they forego or they forget or they cut themselves off from their own Indian, Indian tradition and there is a kind of uh, uh, tussle between modern western education and uh, Indian system of education and one of the debate that is there in many of modern Indian thinkers is between tradition and the modernity. So, uh, colonial um, administration, colonial uh, system of education which promoted modernity which uh, established many system of modern education, modern system of governance, uh, how far that is different from the uh, Indian ancient traditional system of education, governance, polity, etcetera. So, that kind of debate was also, uh, also there and it was becoming a problematic issue by the time Raja Ram Mohan Rai was articulating about modern uh, liberal education in India. Now, there was a kind of divide between those who were promoting western liberal education, they were called Anglicist and uh, Raja Ram Mohan Rai was in many ways one such um, uh, person uh, who strongly supported modern English education. And um, there was the other which was the Orientalist supporting the values, wisdom contained in Indian, uh, Indian tradition or Oriental, Oriental tradition. So, um, Raja Ramon Rai himself being the staunch Anglicist championed English law, literature and reformist ideas. Yet, and that is the uniqueness of Raja Ramon Roy, where he was, so as I was saying that when he was championing the modern uh, liberal education, that uh, uh, support was not uh, uh, something which can be interpreted as opposition to Indian system of education or Indian uh, tradition of thinking and thought. So, um, uh, we have to have a kind of cautious uh, approach to understand his understanding of modern liberal education. So, um, uh, he wanted uh, uh, English law, literature and reformist ideas to be taught, imparted to the natives, yet he was also resisting the British hypocrisy and Christian preachers and turned time and again to hin Hindu scriptures for wisdom and guidance. So, uh, in, in Raja Ram Mohan Rai, there is a kind of sim simultaneous movement to and fro from Indian intellectual ancient tradition of thinking and thought to modern system of, uh, uh, system of western education, especially when we will discuss his ideas on freedom of press and how he is using the British uh, principles and philosophy or European uh, thought to counter some of the denials that was being practiced by the colonial administrators in, in India. 
so uh, he was very critical of hip hypocrisy uh, and many uh, practices um, uh, followed by the christian mission missionaries in india and uh, uh, turn to the hindu scriptures for wisdom and guidance so there is a kind of to and fro movement from indian intellectual tradition to modern western uh, western system of edu uh, education so what one can understand from this kind of uh, movement in thought in idea is a kind of very rational approach to accepting or denying or promoting certain things so uh, raja ram mohan roy wanted to promote modern liberal education because he wanted to create and promote a liberal society in india free from superstitions free from idol worship or free from other evil practices that was degenerating that was suffocating for the cultivation of a sound uh, scientific moral mind in india so he was very clear but at the same time he was also aware of this hypocrisy in the uh, british uh, administration uh, or among the many christian missionary as well so he in that sense acknowledged and recognized the value or the wisdom contained in indian scriptures as well so the um, uh, controversy that was there between the um, orientalist and the Angl anglicist he fought vigorously for english education and wrote the famous letter to ed educationist uh, lord amherst that's the ardent or uh, decisive support in raja ram mohan roy for the promotion of modern liberal education and that also reflect his uh, pragmatic approach to modern uh, system of education that india should aspire for he also worked for improving and enriching bengali language it is interesting to note that uh, the address that he presented to lord william banting was in bengali it showed his deep love for his mother tongue and also vernacular languages in india so despite of his support modern liberal education on the one hand he was also someone who wanted to uh, standardize or promote mother tongue or the vernacular languages in india and the reason for such promotion was to make education accessible to the large section of indian in the society and for a very long time there was a kind of denial of access to the large section of uh, uh, society because uh, education the way it was imparted especially the higher learning was limited to a very small section of indian society contained in a particular language sanskrit and their imparting was uh, uh, denied to the large section of society so he wanted such religious texts in sanskrit to be translated into the vernacular language and therefore the message that was contained he wanted it to be accessible to the large section of uh, society as well and uh, he therefore wrote a number of texts in his mother tongue bengali he was also in cooperation with many other contemporary uh, figures in bengal help in the establish establishing in many modern uh, uh, modern institution of uh, learning so uh, especially like david hare and dr duff uh, and, and their approach to promote english education in the country as many of you are familiar when the britishers started modern english education no native parents would send their children to learn uh, learn english because they fear that it will uh, ultimately also promote religious conversion and uh, and the that apprehension prevented them from sending their children to such english schools so raja ram mohan roy actually helped in uh, uh, establishing such system of education in india especially the efforts of david hare and dr duff so he believed that modern western education would enlighten the indians from the superstitions and prejudices of the religious orthodoxy so uh, uh, here again one can uh, think of his discomfort with the uh, system of education that was uh, uh, being imparted in 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 his time by religious orthodoxy so uh, he Uh, in my mind do not have so much problem with the uh, text or scriptures that was available in indian tradition but the way it is being imparted and the kind of uh, teaching that was being done uh, he had a serious problem with such orthodoxy which 
contain a lot of superstitious belief and prejudices and therefore, it cannot in the opinion of Raja Ram Mohan Roy help in enlightening the Indian Indian minds and therefore, he wanted western a western education to be promoted by the Britishers. So, this is one quotation which can help us to understand why uh, he argued that the Sanskrit system of education would be best uh, calculated to keep country in the darkness. So, the role of uh, education for Raja Ramon Roy is to bring enlightenment, to bring rationality, to bring scientific approach towards self, society, politics, etcetera. So, uh, uh, he find that uh, promotion of Sanskrit learning cannot really help in enlightening such, uh, such uh, superstitious or prejudices uh, mind that is being perpetuated by those who are already in the position of power or in the uh, superior position in the hierarchy in Indian system. And just to quote uh, uh, this statement which is from a letter which he wrote to Lord Amherst supporting the modern western education, he said that as the improvement of the native population is the object of the government, he believed in such object which is improvement of the native population, it will consequently promote a more liberal and enlightened system of instruction, embracing mathematics, natural philosophy, chemistry and anatomy with other useful sciences which may be accomplished with the sum proposed by employing a few gentlemen of talents and learning educated in Europe and providing a college furnished with necessary books, instruments and other apparatus. So, in this letter he makes it very uh, clear that uh, the objective of improvement of native population can only be achieved when the government use its expenditure to promote modern uh, system of education or liberal system of education and the uh, which is mathematics, chemistry, anatomy, philosophy and other branches of useful science and not kind of contemplative speculative thinking and thought that was widely prevalent and therefore, he wanted to create universities, colleges with necessary books, instruments and etcetera and he wanted uh, government to focus on that. Now, what you also find in Raja Ram Mohan Roy is his contribution in terms of establishing some preeminent system or preeminent institution of modern education. So, uh, uh, begin with foundation of Hindu college. Now, uh, this is also in a, in a sense uh, interesting to note that uh, many institution of modern education in India is named after a religion, after a caste, after a community and that is still prevalent in many parts of the country. So, Aligarh Muslim University, Banaras Hindu University and things like that. So, uh, religion and religious idioms remain somewhat there even when their objective is to promote modern uh, system of education. So, but that is not uh, really uh, something which we have to take it um, uh, you know in a very uh, very prejudiced or narrow sense of the uh, term, their approach uh, even when naming such colleges as Hindu college or Muslim college was to impart liberal education in that community or in the larger section of society. So, Raja Ramon Roy um, contribution in the foundation of Hindu college was immense. So, uh, David Harry, Hare and many others brought the proposal for the establishment of seminary for teaching the natives liberal modern progressive system of education. This proposal emphasized the need for improvement and betterment of natives through modern education. Ultimately, this college was established in 1870 uh, and there was a lot of opposition to establishment of such uh, colleges from the orthodoxy, uh, especially from the Hindu society. Now, uh, here makes a kind of a tricky situation for Raja Ram Mohan Roy, where he wholeheartedly supported such, uh, such um, um, establishment and yet he withdrew his name from this project because he does not want to really get unnecessarily into the arguments with the orthodoxy of the Hindu, uh, Hindu society, but his contribution in the foundation of Hindu college is very widely known. 
similarly uh, in the establishment of anglo hindu school he again promoted uh, the modern liberal education uh, for uh, for the uh, natives so in 1816 he founded an english school and from the project of hindu college though he uh, withdrew his name uh, but that is to avoid the unnecessary clashes and altercation with the orthodoxy but in reality he did not stop his educational exertion and in 1822 uh, he uh, for free instruction of hindu boys he reconstructed the earlier english school that he formed in 1860 uh, from his own expenses this uh, school came to be known as anglo hindu school uh, he uh, also as i was saying uh, supported the uh, native mother uh, tongue or vernacular language and for that purpose few educated natives youth of calcutta formed a native literary society in this school anglo hindu school calcutta that was intended to raise the intellectual character of the natives and improve the language thoroughly the name of the society was called sarva sarva tanwa deepika sabha which is also known as the society for the diffusion of all branches of uh, branches of knowledge so in this uh, anglo hindu school the approach of raja ram mohan roy is not to uh, not just to promote liberal education but also allow the space for the promotion or cultivation of vernacular language such as bengali and uh, there was a uh, few youths who actually formed a literary society to promote their language and also to increase the intellectual character of the intellectual character of the natives so um, this society has a very significant role in the promotion of modern bengali language as well similarly in the establishment of vedanta college raja ram mohan roy played a very significant role so in 1825 he started this school in which there was a kind of combination of western knowledge with indian learning that means raja ram mohan roy Vedanta College was a great seat, seat of learning for Vedanta and other Indian intellectual tradition as well as modern western thought with a scientific outlook so that's the kind of churning that is going on in his uh, in his mind when he is promoting modern liberal scientific western education he is not denying or objecting to the promotion of indian vedantic philosophy in particular so one has to really be very cautious when it comes to conclude easily that raja ram mohan roy while supporting the modern education actually objecting to the indian uh, system of education that's uh, not the fair or the complete or the correct interpretation of his ideas on modern western science so he in this vedanta college Uh, he combined the both uh, both uh, tradition and through these colleges and institution he was also promoting his ideas on religion like unitarianism monotheism and things like that so uh, for developing rationalism a study of unitarianism in hindu there is one singular supreme being not just in hinduism but also in christianity uh, he emphasized such ideals through these college and institutions as well other part was he also supported the uh, missionaries efforts to impart impart educations among the uh, natives so uh, there are many christian missionaries actually uh, working in different languages different vernacular language uh, printing text in such language and through that trying to promote modern uh, modern liberal education and uh, raja ram mohan roy uh, cooperated supported such efforts by the christian missionaries especially uh, the works done by alexander duff and um, the scottish mission secondary school that he established um, he received a lot of help and contribution from raja ram mohan roy in the establishment of this scottish mission secondary school which is now famously known as scottish church college so raja ram mohan roy did promote uh, such efforts by the christian missionaries as well besides himself spending his own money or resources in the establishment establishment of some institution which imparted modern liberal education along with the vedantic philosophy or indian 
uh, Indian uh, text, uh, classical Sanskrit text and treatises as well. Now, if we uh, try to understand the effects of um, Raja Ramon Roy uh, understanding or articulation of modern liberal education, what we find is that the British Committee on so, uh, as I was saying that this polarization between the Anglicist and the Orientalist was there for a very long time, even among the colonial uh, colonial administrators and uh, scholars as well as the natives. So, a section of them wanted English education, but a large section or equally number of uh, people opposed to modern western education in India, championing the Orientalist, um, Orientalist understanding. So, when uh, the British committee on public instruction was slow to react the growing demand for a new educational system in, in, in India and uh, when Thomas Babington Macaulay as you may be familiar with his, uh, with his approach that he wanted a system of education in India which will make Indians uh, in their manners, in their style, in their dressing a Englishman but they will serve merely as a junior uh, level clerks in the administration of the Raj. So, uh, uh, the objective of Macaulay was very instrumentalist kind of, um, kind of um, uh, understanding uh, about the role and the objective of modern system of education which wanted to create a section of society which will help the British uh, to uh, sustain its rule, uh, rule in India. So, when he became the president of this committee, the British Committee on Public Instruction in 1834, 1834 the uh, committee was divided between the Anglicists and the Orientalist and uh, Macaulay favored the English Anglicizing uh, the education and government of India. So, uh, that was uh, very clear. The Orientalist on the other hand believed that there is much wisdom that can be gained from the so called oriental or the Indian texts and tradition and thus they were resisting the efforts of the Anglicists. Macaulay ended with ended by supporting the Ang Angli uh, Anglicists or promoting the modern um, uh, modern education in uh, modern English education or promoting the English language and literature in India. And uh, here it is interesting to understand his famous statement that a rack of books contained in any good library in Europe is worth uh, the knowledge of all the all the system of or tradition of knowledge contained in the Asian and African and many Oriental countries put together. So, his understanding of knowledge contained in Orientalist thought was very problematic, very despicable in a sense and many people contest, uh, contested uh, such, such, uh, such position and such remarks about oriental uh, philosophy and oriental system of knowledge. But uh, in the larger, uh, larger context where we have began this discussion on modern education, by, nine, by, by 1830s or uh, by 1830s it becomes clear that the British will promote the modern system of education in the English language instead of promoting the classical Sanskrit, Arabic or Persian language in their system of education. So, uh, and this comes with this um, effect that the no single act of uh, British policy has had such lasting uh, influence on Indian mind and also on the evolution of modern Indian thought than this decision in 1835 taken by uh, Macaulay to use government funds to support education in the English language and to adopt the curriculum prevalent in English schools also. So, this single decision of uh, British government or by Macaulay has such a uh, re remarkable influence not on the minds of the Indian people, but also the modern system of education that we have now uh, is shaped to a great extent by this decision of um, uh, 1835. What you also find that English education has provided for the privileged handful who could take advantage of it, a specialized scientific knowledge such as that of offered in Kolkata from 1835 at the first British Medical College of India. It also offered a common language and cultural background. Such conditions of all India unity 
gave birth to political self consciousness and eventually uh, contributed in the rise of Indian nationalism. So, this modern system of education in a sense also help Indian coming from different socio linguistic cultural background to develop a kind of all India outlook and that outlook was uh, supplemented by the thoughts and ideas prevalent in modern western uh, political thought and thinking. So, uh, uh, the birth of Indian nationalism in, in a sense and the idea of India that we have which is secular, republic, democratic, parliamentary, those uh, ideas and vocabulary comes from this modern uh, liberal system of education. Now, uh, it is undeniable fact that Raja Ram Mohan Roy played a very significant role in the promotion of this modern English education that we have in India. And um, uh, therefore, uh, when it comes to the uh, role and contribution of uh, Raja Ram Mohan Roy in modern education, one has to give him credit for, uh, for ardently or completely supporting the uh, modern liberal education in contrast with uh, uh, many orientalists uh, orient, orientalist within court which, who believes in the uh, knowledge and wisdom which is contained in oriental and Indian tradition. So, in contrast to them Raja Ram Mohan Rai uh, was first to understand the pragmatic or uh, the practical use of modern liberal education which will help in cultivation of mind and also in formulation of morality and ethics which is based on sonder principle with scientific rational approach and not on superstitions and irrational prejudiced behavior and outlook. Besides that we also have to acknowledge the fact while he was in total support or wanted the British uh, rule to promote modern liberal education in India, he was also the one who believed in the wisdom and worth of Indian thought as well and wanted to be wanted such thought to be made access accessible to larger public through translation of Sanskrit text into the vernacular languages also. So, uh, in that sense um, Raja Ram Mohan Rai was kind of um, uh, combining uh, the modern western liberal education with the uh, same approach towards learning classical Indian. Uh, Indian uh, Sanskrit texts. So, um, uh, so one cannot have really easy, uh, easy interpretation that uh, when he is supporting the modern liberal education, he is objecting the uh, uh, Indian tradition of thought and thinking. Actually, he wanted to combine the uh, combine the both, and that's why he uh, uh, he was also critical of Christian missionaries and the hypocrisy on the part of colonial administrators, which were actually denying some of the uh, principles, some of the ideas, some of the rights that they were actually preaching in their home country. So, that is uh, more on that I will discuss in the, uh, in the next lecture, but um, he wanted modern, uh, modern Indian mind to be uh, rational, to be scientific to engage in the problematic or the pragmatic questions and the concerns of their life or the life of the community. To do that, he wanted to promote to, uh, to be imparted this modern liberal education and that is a kind of cure to the uh, widely prevalent superstitions and ignorance or the prejudices of Indian, uh, Indian mind that lead to their degenerate status. Uh, in uh, the time he was uh, he was thinking about. So, on this you can look at these some of these resources. So, from Pentham and Duch you can look at introduction from uh, their work political thought in modern India and also from M P Singh and Himan Suroy you can look at the chapter on Raja Ram Mohan Roy. Similarly, from Ram Chandra Guha and uh, Rachel uh, McDermott and Dalton at all edited sources of Indian tradition. So, there is some excerpts from Raja Ramon Roy and his views on modern uh, modern education. So, you can look at from uh, these sources to understand whatever we have discussed in this lecture on Raja Ramon Roy's views on modern liberal education. 
Now, this is also a time to uh, give you an assignment for this week and assignment for this week is a text by K. C. Bhattacharya which is called Swaraj in Ideas. I want you to read this text and write a paragraph in about 500 words summarizing the key ideas and concerns raised in this, um, in this text. So, um, please read this text. This text is widely available on the net. If not, you can write to us. We will send you the uh, PDF copy and uh, then you can read and write, uh, write a paragraph in about 500 words. So, thank you to listening to me.